planner friends today we are going to be planning for the month of april and i'm also going to show you how i take those plans from my monthly spread and turn them into plans for the week i'll walk you through what goes into my monthly planner first what you know how i kind of organize everything and what actually goes into the monthly section of my planner i've already created the spread inside of the monthly section of my planner for april but we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to add in a few stickers for my work schedule. That's the very first thing that goes in there because my work schedule is kind of what dictates whatever else is going on. My husband has a very consistent work schedule. I do not, mine is all over the place and um, it's never the same. And then I might get texted you know, one evening that they need, need somebody to pick up and I might pick up or pick up a half a shift. So having my work schedule in here is very, very important. So that's the very first thing that I always start with. So this sticker here is for my son for Cub Scouts. They have a camp out during that weekend. So I noted that the next thing after, you know, my work schedule is other things that are kind of already set schedule wise. So this would be any kind of appointments that we have things for Cub Scouts, things for school, um, things that happen every single week, that kind of thing. And I do color code things inside of my planner. I don't necessarily use the same color every single month. Um, I, I used to when I was like in nursing school, it was very, very consistent every single month. But now what I do is I will color code with the colors that I have in the spread. So my work schedule, I actually took a checklist sticker and I cut it up to create little um, dot stickers for my work schedule. Those are all in yellow. And then you'll see that Cub Scout stuff is in gray. And then, and I actually got those out of these little books right here. And then I did end up adding my social media stuff here, actually just YouTube, not all of social media, but just YouTube into this planner so I know what videos are going to be when. And those ones I did in this like peach, I don't know, peachish color. It's not really peach, kind of pinkish peach. I don't know, one of those colors. <laughs> Anyways, um, that's how I kind of colored coded everything for the spread. This is where I'm kind of brainstorming what videos I want to post on YouTube for the month of April. I have some videos that I've already thought about or I've already filmed and I have them ready to go. And then I also pull out my classic happy planner. You'll see it in just a second because inside of there, I have lists of video ideas. These could be ideas that I've come up with, um, video ideas that you guys have given me in the comments. And I always love those ideas. So please, if you have, any videos that you would like for me to make, go ahead and drop those down in the comments. Um, I might not respond to every comment, but I do see your guys' comments and I do read through them. And then also, if I get a, a question consistently over and over again, I'll usually make a video about it because if one person has it or if a couple people have it, I'm sure that more people have that exact same question. Also, on a side note, I'm considering going back to my classic Happy Planner because I initially switched to a mini because I wanted to be able to take it with me on the go easier, right? The classic size is not a giant planner, but it is too big for the backpack that I use um, to carry like my wallet and stuff in. So I switched to the mini, but I'm gonna be honest, I have not stuck that mini inside of my backpack since the day that I did that. <laughs> so I'm considering going back to my classic uh, planner. It has more room in it, but it also has things inside of there, just like this list of videos, video ideas. Um, it already has those things inside of there that I use 
whenever I'm planning. So kind of thought about going back to a classic, but I can't decide just yet. So for now, let's just focus on setting up the mini for the month of April. So once I got my brainstorm down separate, um, then I will start to use those uh, peachish pink dot stickers that I was talking about. Those will be how I color coordinate for YouTube videos. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, I may have overplanned with the amount of YouTube videos that I want to post in the month of April, but I have so much, you guys, that I want to share with you, and and I've talked about this like negative cycle that we get into. I have been in one for a few months where if I get behind just the slightest little bit, it's the snowball effect of I get behind, I feel overwhelmed because there's a lot of things to do, so then I don't do anything, and then my list of things to do just continues to grow, which causes more overwhelm. I mean, it's just that cycle, right? But I'm trying to get myself out of that. Starting out with this many videos in a month might not be the best way to do it, but I really want to share these things with you guys. And I have a lot of content coming up and stuff. And um, I don't like whenever I film something on a Monday and then I don't post it for two weeks. It feels way off. I it doesn't it just doesn't feel right. I want to be able to be posting things currently as they're happening inside of my life. So that's kind of my plan. We'll see how this goes. So don't don't look at the plan and think that it's set in stone. None of my plans are ever set in stone. Things happen, plans do change. You have to be okay with that. Um, but this is the goal. This is the goal for the month of April. I really want to share a lot of content with you guys, so Fingers crossed, I'm going to do my damnedest to make it happen because I love y'all and I love making videos and I want you guys um, to see my processes and hopefully it helps you create a process that you love whenever it comes to planning. Alright, so here's where I'm going to take the items inside of my planner in the monthly section and I'm going to pre-plan for next week. It's not the current week that I'm filming this. I know this is where things get confusing just like I was talking about earlier, but I wanted to show you guys this process. So in the monthly section, right now all that I have in there is my work schedule, any appointments that we have, my um, son's Cub Scout schedule, and then I also have YouTube videos. As far as bills go, we most of our bills come out of our, our account, and the way that me and my husband do it, we have a, a joint account. We both put X amount of money in there, each paycheck, and that covers our bills, and so most of them come out automatically. We have a few that we write checks for. I no longer try to put that stuff inside of the monthly section of my planner, but if you need to put that in the monthly section of your planner, please do. If it helps you stay on track, if... Um, it helps you budget easier or whatever, then yes, definitely stick that inside of the monthly section of your planner. The other thing that I wanna talk about is workouts. I And I think I show it to you in this video. Um, my workouts do not go in this portion of my planner. I actually have a different planner right now, but usually I would have a whole different section inside of my happy planner that's for workouts. Actually right there is the workout planner that I'm, I have. And I started to write down on this pre-planning sheet to, to look at you know, what all do I have going on every day? Am I over planning on a daily basis to where I'm not going to get things done? So that's really, that's why I pre-plan. That's why I recommend pre-planning. That's why I encourage people to pre-plan. When you sit down and you realize that you have, you know, created a list of 20 things that you want to get done today, that's overwhelming. And when you actually look at it at a whole from the whole week and every single day is just jam packed full of stuff, that's also overwhelming. So pre-planning helps me prevent that. 
I could not say that sentence fast if I wanted to. Actually, let me grab my pre-planning sheet from that week. Um, yes, my chair is squeaky. I do apologize. Okay, so what I have pre-planned for, I have my work schedule down for this week. This is going to be from April the 4th to April the 10th. So I have my work schedule down. And then I wrote down what videos are going to post during that week on YouTube. And then I went in and I wrote out my workouts each day. I didn't go into great detail. It was just kind of the basics of what my workout's going to be. And then I wrote down what videos I need to start planning for and filming and editing for the week after the week that I'm pre-planning for, right? So kind of looking at that, those things. And then I also did... Um, Looking at my work schedule, I know when I need to meal plan and go to the grocery store. I know what days I need to prep for work and do some food prepping. Um, and I think that's all that I had stuck on there so far for this week. But that's that's my pre-planning thing. So when I look at this and I say, okay, on Wednesday I am planning out a video. I'm going to do food prep. Food prep t takes a couple of hours. I also need to prep for work. I have my workout to do that day. It's Wednesday, so... Um, might hang out with my husband and my kiddo and you know we're going to spend the evening together so i'm not going to jam pack that day full of stuff and that and that's the biggest reason for me writing things multiple times is because when i pre-plan i can see what i have going on and then i can transfer it into my planner and it's nice and neat and pretty which is very important to me And that's it my friends that is how I use the monthly section of my planner that's how I use the monthly section of my planner to help me plan for the week how I keep everything separated organized neat and in a consistent fashion throughout the spread um, that helps me actually plan and be productive yes I have fallen off the wagon I have fallen off the wagon for months but this process right here has worked for me for years I've been planning I don't know for like five years now maybe longer I don't know, I'm not filling the math right now. <laughs> but when I come back to this time and time and time and time again, it always works. I just have to make myself sit down and do it. So it's planning out the monthly section, looking at what all we have going on for the month as an overview. And then I can break that month down to a week by week, day by day basis. That's my entire process for this. This is what I do every single week whenever I sit down to pre-plan. Looking at the monthly section, pre-planning for the week, and then I have my plans ready to go. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Seriously, have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.